Create service invoices. If your business sells services only, you can enter details of the services being sold manually. Service invoices are a good option if what you're selling is bespoke or varied and requires lots of detail to be shown. Create a new service invoice. From the Invoices and Credits module, click New Invoice. The new invoice window opens with some of the fields pre-populated. In this example, we're creating a service invoice dated the 17th of August, but each of these fields can be amended if required. Select your customer from the drop-down list and click OK, or use the search box to help you find the customer instead. For example, if I enter John, then click Search, any customer records containing the word John appear here. Once selected, their address is pulled through from the customer record. The due date of the invoice is automatically calculated, taking the invoice date and adding the payment due days set for this customer. The invoice will be automatically numbered. You can enter a sales order reference in the order number field, up to seven alphanumeric characters, and a customer order number reference up to 60 alphanumeric characters. You're now ready to add the first item to your invoice. Click in the details column, enter the details of the service being sold, then enter an amount. To update the net, VAT and total values, press either the tab or enter keys on the keyboard. Extra information can be entered in each line. To do this, click the Finder button. Alternatively, select the item line and click View Item or press the F3 function key. In the Details section, the Description and Details fields are populated with the data entered in the item line. The description holds a maximum of 120 alphanumeric characters. To add more details of the service provided, enter these in the Details box. In the Values section, the Quantity Hours field defaults to 1, but can be amended if required. The amount entered will appear in the Unit Price field. Apply a discount by entering a value in either the Discount Percent or Discount Amount boxes. If the item line needs to show on the invoice as a negative value, tick this box. In the Posting Details section, the data is populated from the customer record, but can be changed if required. Enter any additional information for the item line here. To assign the invoice to a project in Sage50 Accounts, click the drop-down here, then select the required project. Once you're happy, click OK. Continue adding item lines until the invoice is complete. Item lines will be totaled at the bottom of the invoice. If you'd like to enter a discount on the total net value of the invoice, add this in the net value discount option as either a percentage or an amount, which will update the invoice totals. To save the invoice, click Save. Follow the same process to create a further invoice, or to return to the main list, click Close. Your new invoice appears in the invoice list with SRV displayed in the type column.